Hi drummers, Mr. Y here, obviously, uh, with a tutorial today on Hotspot, the level three Nisma solo. Um, lots of paradiddles in this thing, guys. You wanna get really, really familiar with paradiddles. Also, obviously, you wanna get really familiar with all your rudiments that you have to do on level three and four. There are quite a few of them. You remember, you have to do the level one and two rudiments plus the level three and four rudiments. If you need a sheet of that, let me know and I'll send you one. Uh, and there is, by the way, a separate tutorial, uh, YouTube tutorial for the level one and two, and then a separate one for level three and four as well. Okay, so if you need to refer to those, go ahead. Uh, today we're doing Hotspot, and I'm going to be doing it kind of, uh, I'm going to kind of do a bare bones version of it, just to get the rhythms down right now. Later on, you'll need to do a couple of things. First of all, add in the dynamics and that kind of thing. My metronome just went haywire, excuse me, just uh, sorry about that. My metronome battery died. Uh, okay, so Hotspot, we're going to go bare bones, like I said. I'm not going to really do the accents and the dynamics right now. I am going to do the rhythms, including the paradiddles in the right place, and that's really the the fo the the <laughs> the most important part at the beginning because there are lots of paradiddles they don't all start on beat one sometimes they start halfway through a beat that kind of thing so you're going to want to get down the rhythms first i'm also under tempo here i'm right at 96 right now the tempo marked is 126 to 132 so later on we're going to be quite a bit faster okay but for right now this is a good place to learn it 96 is what i had it at okay so right at the beginning um i think i'll do the whole thing but i may have to stop and start we'll see if you have not yet numbered your measures you may want to do that i will be referring to measure numbers here okay here we go right at the top one two three Ah, uh, sorry, let me do 17 again. 17. Let me do that one again. Paradiddle, paradiddle, paradiddle. Four, seven, thirty, and then thirty-seven at the end. We have paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. I almost lost that at the end. Let me do thirty-seven again. Okay. Paradiddle. Actually hard to play it while you're saying the word paradiddle. I'm just discovering that. <laughs> I didn't think that would be harder, but it is. Um, so playing it's a little bit easier. Again, take it nice and slow. Take it in little chunks here and there. You want to, you know, practice. I practice mainly one line at a time, or maybe even a couple of measures at a time. I had trouble, uh, uh, for instance, a lot with measure 37. So I had to go really slow. You know, 37. Paradiddle three. Uh, sorry, paradiddle two and a paradiddle three and four. Sorry, let me count it right. One E and a two and a three E and a four E and with the two paradiddles in there as well. Um, and of course, when you're going like in 38, when you're going from one paradiddle to the other, you have to switch hands. So we got, you know, for instance, it's maybe going to be right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. You do alternate your sticking on this, except for when it says uh, a paradiddle. The little brackets are paradiddles, remember. Okay, so that's kind of the tricky part to the song. Take it really slow. Use your metronome. Be methodical about it. I can see you can see what I do is I mark here a little tempo marking for myself so I can remember what tempo I'm at. Then when I come back and play the next day, I set my metronome to that. Get it really good at that tempo, and then you know once you get it there, just notch it up one little notch and play it again a bunch of times. Get it really good. Notch it up one more notch. 
play it again a bunch of times, get it really good. It's kind of a way of tricking your hands into being able to do it faster, even though you know you're not going that much faster each time. Doing it a lot of times, being really methodical about it, doing a little bit every day. That's really the key to getting better and fast at any kind of music. Okay. Good luck with it. Uh, if you have a problem, of course, email me or ask me in class. I'll be glad to help you out. Thanks.